Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. And look, we got more NBA 2K25 gameplay. Insane major updates. Builder and the badges. The courts are bigger. Massive off ball changes. New defensive mechanics. New versatile rim head. Massive shooting changes. Your ratings are gonna matter more. And a bunch more things, man. Y'all are gonna wanna watch this full video because I will be giving you that real. Coming to NBA 2K25, not the double twist that you get from 95% of YouTubers. I'm going to give you that real, okay? We do not want to max out our glue hands back. Let me break it down all the uh, NBA 2K25 news so y'all make sure y'all subscribe and like, man. So firstly, next week, we're getting a full rundown on the builder and the bat by the, the Zach guy, man. I'm going to break down his Genjutsu. He always puts up a strong Genjutsu every year. This guy's saying that uh, the builder was restricted. <laughs> y'all let me know if y'all think the builder was restricted. But like you can make damn near do it all builds. Huh? Now here is something major that I have been talking about for so many years. So many years finally come to be. If this is true, it could be again Jutsu. They did say something like this somewhat last year. They did say that and there was no difference. Hopefully, you know, they showed some screenshots and stuff like that. But, you know, some people were saying it zoomed out. I really hope they do this. It, it's for better gameplay. I've been playing since the first 2K. Been the greatest. This would help game tremendously and create real basketball. If you are a fan of real basketball, this helps real basketball. So Mike Wang said they adjusted the ratio to give players more room to operate. Okay, This creates real basketball. And here's his thoughts. It's improved the flow of the game and allows for certain cuts that would often get jammed up before it. This is true. These are things I brought up before. And then people have to play more honest defense. People have to learn defense and they can't get saved as much. There's so many intricate things that you guys don't understand about the game that literally helps all styles and all levels of the game. And it creates a skill gap for people to want to get better and to have to get better and to make them more addicted to the game. It's way deeper than y'all think. But look, y'all be saying I'm all negative and isn't out. Look, I say incredible. It's actually a noticeable difference. For some reason, people think I just want 2K to fail. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> they don't think I want a more fun game to play to have fun. Especially since I'm going to be playing it on, all year, off and on. Some strange people out there. Is there any penalty for playing off-ball defense? So, this could be big. Y'all play now, my team guys, and all this and that, and even in the wreck somewhere. Now, if this is true, this is a dub, man. But I doubt it will be true. The AI is never good in any year. If D Cesar is, is the main guy, he, he's horrible. Like, that guy is cooked. On Moses, he's cooked. But he's saying, first off, this is cap. It makes no sense. He's saying there are advantages. That means there's a penalty to playing off ball. But he's saying if you're a user, you get slight boost to your contest compared to the AI. Y'all let me know if y'all think that's cap. Also, users can take advantage of the new defensive cutoff mechanic. Jam ups and fumbles against the ball. Here. So they're saying the AI is not going to be able to really utilize. And the AI is more delayed. So maybe they improved the defense somewhat. I doubt it. But uh, maybe this could mean the AI is more balanced. If y'all play the game and you understand the game, you understand the AI plays better defense than like 75% of users and almost... The, the average casual, they can't score on the AI at all. Like online, like in the rec, in the park, they can't score on, especially in the random rec. So it's dumb to like make the AI like that, the AI better than most of the users. Imagine if Call of Duty did someone uh lag out the game and then the AI is better than 75% of users. It's stupid. It <laughs> You push your people away from your game. It's not smart. You play so good that you made your guy quit and all of a sudden the dude's locking you up or he's playing way better than the... That doesn't make sense. You shouldn't get unrewarded by being good enough to make someone quit. That doesn't make sense. Say you start off seven for seven, you make your guy quit and then you shut down. That's so dumb. So this person says, does the new cutoff moves on defense cause the adrenaline? Like Wang says, nope. <laughs> So now you could do one hand rim hangs. I don't know if this was a thing last year. I think you could only do two hand. Y'all let me know. They went and showed this guy. Y'all let me know if that's a W to you. So people put my Discord, by the way, y'all be sure to join my Discord. The link is in the description. We're gonna be posting all the NBA 2K25 leaks when you know I get the game and stuff. So look, a bot account that uh, Mike Wang replied to, right? This is what they're saying. They're saying this guy is a bot account and Mike Wang is choosing to respond to bot accounts. <laughs> I don't know. And you see? So somebody tell Mike Wang to stop replying to bot accounts, man. <laughs> 
So this guy wants to know if your three-point rating is going to matter this year, man. Mike Wang is saying the shot ratings are going to matter way more. He's saying you could compensate if you're a real good shooter or you know how to cheese the new rhythm shooting mechanic, the skill dunking shooting mechanic, if you got a lower rating. But he's saying most people are going to need higher ratings than last year's clip. So could this mean getting the midi high isn't going to be a thing anymore? Click, 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 click. Y'all know the midi made it to where you could get threes off real good. Or maybe they don't even know that. Maybe they only tested it with like, the three point ratings because you get a ton of shooting badges with the high midi and it don't even cost much and have a lower threes so a lot of people are saying uh they say the same thing every year a uh, new pro play animation for this guy who cares rip wh whistle whistle's gone y'all let me know if that's a l or w so i guess uh all that foul cheese is gonna be nerfed someone else who got a new pro play uh jump shot animation new pro play jumper who cares now, if you guys didn't know, these shot timing profiles, um, I hope Unity catches on. It's basically real player percent built into online gameplay. If you use your head, low key, even though they brought back real player percent, which you can't use it online. But this seems like it's like a real player percent type of thing. It's going to be interesting how uh, it's used in 2K25. Y'all know I'm going to give y'all the best the best settings for the jump shot. So you better be tuned in. Now, look right here. Major issue. A lot of people do not know about it. OK, so p please be respectful. There's standing dunk cheese. Uh, a lot of y'all don't know this. You could just jab step over and over again until the guy gets out the way somewhat. And or you get in a certain position and dunk every time. Unstoppable. Um, But there's other ways to do it they might not know or maybe they didn't think about it right but there's another way that's even more efficient it's the kobe between the legs dribbly mode so if they just attacked it from oh you can't jab step what about if you could just spam your dribbly mode that's the same thing right or if they made you can't dribbly mode under the rim what about uh, other emotes in general right because then that could help them still get in a certain position possibly so i wonder if they did that i doubt it i don't know and then also there's another way to cheese with the stand and dunk because the dead zone is so broke right like I can literally go in the wreck and drop random wreck and drop 40 just dead zoning without the cheese mechanic, right? Just dead zoning standing dunks. Just go in and out, in and out. I'd be like, hit me now. Or I, or I just, you know, dribble and then get to a certain point. And I could just nonstop, like not even practicing, bro. It's extremely easy, bro. But um, it's very, it's very broken. But there's other ways to cheese the stand and dunk, like the Lamelo. There's other aggressives. There's other regular breakdown combos, and you're not too rippable. And then you do that move, and then it puts you in a way to where then you, you know. So if you can't do uh those other moves under the rim too, then that'll be good. I don't know. I don't think they're capable of it. I ain't gonna hold. So um, let me know how y'all feel about it. Layups have been nerfed. I don't know. I haven't really seen uh, the quick scoops be like exploited at the high level. They were good. They were OP as hell. But I think this low key means that layups are getting nerfed and paint D is somewhat getting buffed based off what they saying. Because why just talk about the scoops, you know? So maybe finishing as a whole has been nerfed. Very OP this year. It's even more OP than quick drops. That meter dunk is woo. Now Mike Wang is talking about 9,000 animations. It, it's over 9,000. If you know, you know, 9,000 is a weird number. I think that's troll. It sounds crazy, bro. If it's really 9,000 new animations, bro, it should feel totally different. It better not feel like 24 at all, bro. I think it's capped though. He's saying now there's like 14.6K, man, I don't, I don't know. Let, listen to this. 1500 new dribble sequences, 1100 shots, 1300 motion sequences, 800 new rebound, bro. 1000 new passes, 434 new dunks, 550 new blocks. <laughs> bro, I just, I can't believe this is, I might block you, Mike Wayne. You feel me? I might, oh, over 1100 new layups. I might block you, bro, like, to like, I better see this like it better be like noticeable like this sounds crazy do y'all understand like do y'all understand like you should be able to get sued for saying stuff like this like if i'm not just everything look different on, man you can't just play on your man it sound crazy i wish see, bro look at, look at this doesn't it sound crazy come on this dude talking about some dunking sounds 
Answer the important questions, Mike Wayne, before I get mad, boy. Squeaky rim is a remove. Maybe some new dunk sound effects. They get all their dunk sound effects from actual videos. I'd say something very important. I've said this, I've told LD2K, tweeted this, not much attention. It's a huge problem, especially for creators or just people that aren't bots, okay? Um, play part, noise is extremely loud. You can't even hear your team too loud. You hear wind, it's horrible audio, right? Can't really adjust it. It's really bad this year and then when you go play wreck I, I learned how to control the wreck more the crowds too loud can't even hear people not addressed all year I, that what annoys me about this uh this game and these developers like i'll say something that should be able to get tuned or fixed and it's just no answer no answer at all no an this is like a extremely annoying feature for all users you I'm saying, hey, we can't hear people in the wreck unless you turn everything down. Why is that not getting an answer or getting a dress? Tripping, man. More ball rim physics. Pause. Who is this? Is this a robot? This is a robot. Guys, this is a robot. This is not a real person. What? What is going on? Yo, no. No. Guys, passing is a huge issue in this game. If you know, you know. If you don't know, shut up. Like it's very slow, slow molasses. You shouldn't get a lot of slow animations. The high rating's not as rewarded as it should be. Hope that is improved. Passing is very fundamental for all levels of, like, you know, your skill level. 400, 500 new pro play dunks. So this guy tells the truth. Shocking that Mike Wayne responded to a real question. <laughs> he wants to know if dribble moves got any improvements to make them feel more fluid, okay? If you're not a late bloomer, casual NPC, you know this year it was very clunky. It was not to take none of that, but if you're as part of that community, you just lost, do better. Fine God. Um, this guy says we need freestyle dribble stick so we could chain together our own move. All the dribble animations felt clunky. Like this guy responds. Oh, th this could be a drag. Hopefully they improved it. But this is sounding like a nerf to something. Okay. He says there are two things that dribble heads are going to need to last. So you're saying you're gonna to have to adapt, changing it up. Many of the moves you pulled off last year, like the Sham God, are no longer done by branching from a right stick to left stick move. Now the Sham God, I don't really know who does that, but I think maybe the Hitmon top dribblers, the Steezo dribblers, I think they use that chain and spin around i think going after them to nerf them even though they don't exist um or maybe that's the between the legs i don't know what he's referring to a lot of people say a lot of different things but um this seems like he's going after that again instead of um, making the game better so it doesn't hopefully it is some new cool stuff who knows but then he says second dribble movement is very different launches so he's saying speed boosting returns so he's saying your, your stopping ability. Y'all know the stopping in 24 was not, not very stoppy. So maybe reverting back to the being able to stop on a dime. Like you're a point one percent human like you're supposed to be on the on the video game. You're able to stop on a dime. He's saying the turning. He's saying dribble styles are gonna have a big effect on these things like they already have. Saying we're gonna need to experiment saying techniques from past 2ks might not work this year. discover new ways to be effective so uh past 2ks so he got to be referring to the new past 2ks like 24 23 22 21 and maybe he's saying how that gameplay worked he reverting to the older type no doubt it though fully let me know what y'all think about that Look at this double twisting pro play is revolutionary man i love it your delusional npc you won't debate it live it's not revolutionary guys stop is this a robot hold on okay he might not be a robot but he could be an undercover death he's saying it really is mike wang you won't debate it live he's saying we have to restructure our teams and tools just to process the amount of data coming through the pipe it's almost overwhelming but a huge leap forward for authenticity i wish i wish but I doubt. I hope so. But I doubt it. And you playing on me like I'm a hub. right stick steals gone now with the new cutoff D. You can still do right stick steals by releasing intense D. With the trigger held, you'll get cutoff moves. Mm. So you gotta let go of the trigger. To get your your right stick steal on ball while you're on contact. I don't know. I don't really know how I feel about it. new KD jumper. I hear some people was looking for that. Lots of new dribble styles. 
25 last year to 37 and 25. How does that even make sense if he's saying there's over 9,000 new animations? He says, more importantly, each dribble style is filled with authentic pro play data. We'll see. And he says, last year's dribble styles might have four or five unique animations per style, while 2K25 dribble styles have around 20 through 40 unique pro play sequences from that player. The new engine is driven by at least six times the amount of motion data as previous 2Ks. It's crazy. This is so insane to say. The fact that it's not a main part, like a main tweet is weird, and I doubt it. I don't know, but think about what he's saying, guys. To, to have this much, like how he's conveying it, that would mean the gameplay would have to be faster and real quick. You can't have a slow molasses game and it reflects what he's saying right here. This It's not even possible, but this is crazy. 20 through 40, how is that even possible? Think about it. I mean, th this could be like the, the game gameplay gonna be quicker. Leak, 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 leak. Slow molasses is not uh realistic, by the way, guys. Sounds promising, but I doubt it, man. Hopefully, bro. I wish. Now, this rhythm shooting thing doesn't make sense, right? It's very confusing to me. I don't know if I'm tripping. Y'all let me know. I'm not even going to read this because there's no point. But off of what I read, I can't tell if this is like shot timing, like a shot timing skill dunk, like from 21. Y'all know how you centered it with your right stick. You'll make it every time. That's horrible. Zenners will go crazy. But he's saying like a sequence. I don't know if you have to time that sequence or just do the sequence, but he's saying you kind of have to time it with the fingertips. I don't, I'm, I'm so confused, bro. Like, bro, just talk normal, bro. I don't know if they're going to be a meter for this or what. I'm so confused, bro. Trip. So they saying layup timing gives you a boost again this year. They always say this every year. Ooh, they got the, uh, the real player percent with the, uh, layup. I don't know if it's online though, but they got the layup timing profiles. Hey, y'all better be subscribed. I'm gonna be helping y'all out, bro. They saying he's saying the dunk meter logic been improved, and now they're also saying that your dunk meter size is not predetermined right before you take off. It's now dynamic, like how the layups were. So maybe this could mean maybe not a lot of the side contact dunk things. Maybe you could yam over Spud Webb now with Michael Jordan 99 dunk. Who knows? Improve lob pass logs. Ugh, that's a L. Them them 20 lob. I hope it don't ever return to that. The lobs seem okay. Targeting on lobs is much better. I don't even know why he's talking about this. He should be talking about the other passing. Um, out of touch. Bounce alley-oops. What is he talking about, bro? That's not what people are talking about when they're talking about passing. Trevor. Instant greens are back. W in the chat. <laughs> w, 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 Finally, finally. How many years we gotta, how many years we gotta keep asking for it? Finally, 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 finally. Hello? Let me uh call you back. Now, I don't know the two differences between these two shot feedbacks, but they're saying to put your uh stuff on simple and you'll be able to get the instant green. They're saying um, for the full shot, it's delayed like 2K24. And they're saying um, that the defensive coverage is included even in the simple. So uh, out of shot meters change, shot meter works pretty differently in NBA 2K25. I wish they would take shot meters out the game. They don't listen. You took vibration out the game right take shot meters out the game they don't help players they're not training wheels they don't help players they hold players back getting good at the game first they hold players back from learning how to shoot and getting the boost to shooting people think it helps them it does i promise you you think it helps you it doesn't now there's an issue that a lot of y'all aren't aware of people are cheating with the shot meters right so just take them out bro like at least the shooting shot meters just take them out and now he's saying there's three options the arrow default ring and the die rather than freezing when you release the shot button all of the meters animate from beginning to end in sync saying the best time to release in this delayed uh 2k is as soon as it uh appears your screen much more accurate online so you no longer need to compensate for latency so is that tuned in y'all can't do that 2k stop the cap because there's different latencies nah that's for sure shooting shots layups and free throw and there's still a bonus for having the meter like wang saying uh you're gonna need some more free throw in your build low rated free free throw players aren't gonna be effective like wang saying takeover is pretty cool this year but we'll talk about it next week so that means that takeover has changed weekly Y'all put down how y'all think uh, the takeover is going to change in uh, 2K25. But yeah, y'all turn on them post notes. Go check out my other 2K25 videos. Click the vid on the screen. We're going to keep up to date, give you that real. And uh, follow me on Twitter, man. I'm in wars, man. They saying variety don't matter in the dribbling, guys. Help.
Help me on the Twitter, bro. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.